Lasha Gobadza, 25 years old. He beat Chinon Haitu earlier, and Chinon Haitu had upset the number one seed from Turkey, Imra Kous. So that was one of the shockers of the preliminary rounds. But Chion Haitu unable to get past Gobadze of Georgia in the red. So Gobadze, 25 years old. As Mark mentioned, he was the European silver medalist this year, taking on Hassim Bekov of Uzbekistan. Veterans had a nice day, his run to this semifinal match. He's outscored the opponents 9-2, so he's not giving up a lot of points. Underhook being applied by Gobadze. At least he's trying to get that right arm planted. Switches up to that two-on-one, now goes right back. Possible underhook, nothing there. This is really the point where you see the wrestlers trying to find their position, trying to get an advantage, either an underhook. It's hard to tell, but this is really a technical technical thing to get into that position. Both of the wrestlers looking for the offensive, but still very aware of the defensive wrestling here. And again, as we've seen all all during this, these semifinals, a little mistake can make the difference here. So both wrestlers are aware of where they're putting their hands, the balance, the way they're using the leg, the way they're using applying pressure. Here we see the Georgian wrestler being the more active one. I know last year in calling the action, I really applauded the rule changes for Greco-Roman. It, it is a sport that has seen the offense jump dramatically with the rule changes a couple of years, forcing more action, not relying on the parterre so much. And here we see Gobatsa going for the reverse lift. He has oh. it. He was able Gets to seal it up. Should get two out of it, and he does. Using the reverse lift. Gets in front with three points. And just to get back to that, it's today it's, it's been a day full of technical points. It's been a very active day. It's been a very, very good day for Greg Roman wrestling. We've seen a lot of throws, a lot of points scored, which is what we love about wrestling, right? So the rule trade change has really made it more, more attractive being the active wrestler going for going for the points. Gobadze with a 3 0 lead. First of two semifinals at 82 kilos. This will be our final weight class of the night. Four weights tonight. Three more get introduced tomorrow. And then the final three weights on Monday. Before we move into the women's freestyle. And then we cap it off over the weekend with the men's freestyle. They always rotate the order of the world championships. So Greco-Roman first, women's freestyle, followed by the men's. Your order here in Nur Sultan. And your order after three minutes is Georgia three, Uzbekistan nothing, as the two wrestlers go into their corners for mid-match instruction. Happy to have Mark Madsen, the Olympian, in the broadcast booth with us for the first time this year. And Mark, plenty of world experience at the high level, four-time world medalist, an Olympic silver medalist as well, representing Denmark. And I, I actually think it's five-time world medalist, Kenny. Five. But, but who's counting, right? Well, I need to start counting, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an honor. A little bit of a different perspective for you, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. I tell you what, you're staying in your seat well. You know, lots of times I bring up the athletes and sometimes I'm worried I'm gonna get caught in a headlock or a, you know, a Russian tie. But I'm feeling getting sucked into this, sitting up here sweating, <laughs> really feeling with, with the wrestlers. Know the feeling of coming into a, a match like this, this late in the tournament, being tired with the fatigue in the body and then going out there and performing your absolute best. Very challenging. So Gabadze starts the second period. He's on top, 3-0. 
Pakistan really hasn't come close to finding a way to, to get offense. I seen Bekov has struggled getting to where he's comfortable in those setups. Kabatz is really reading this match well. He's looking to get into all these positions, getting the underhook, really applying pressure and putting the, the Uzbekistani wrestler in a position where he has to adjust all the time. Kabatsi finding the angles here. Stepping on the outside. Do you think Gobadze is doing enough to avoid the parterre call here in the point for Uzbekistan? Do you sense that might be coming as the equalizer in this second period? Gobadze is really keeping a high pace here, looking for the underhooks all the time, applying pressure. He's, he's staying active, finding the angles, moving. Referee still wanting him to do more. And again, with a minute to 15 to go, this is where to dig deep for both wrestlers. Here's what I thought. I, I, you figured you're going to get the parterre opportunity. This will be back off. an exciting moment here. Both of the guys going for the reverse lift, and you see the Kishibimov here going for the reverse right away. And Kubat's aware of this and gets up. Perfect defense. Not staying, not waiting, but getting up right away. Not giving the opportunity of scoring here. Quick stand up by Gobadza. He maintains the two point lead. Gobadza very prepared for this, this match, this opponent. I don't know if they know each other from, from training, but this is a technical, technical match. Asim Bekov, his highest finish prior to this year at the World Championships was 20th last year. He has been tough to score on today, but now a dose of his own medicine as he's having a tough time scoring on the Georgia wrestler Lasha Gabadze. 3-1 Gabadze, waning seconds of this semifinal bout. Georgia, who always finds a way when the spotlights are the brightest to get individuals into the gold medal round. They have done it again. A hug of respect. Very experienced performance. Georgia made a very good game plan here. Red, his opponent, Wise, came in, looked for the underhook, looked for the position, neutralized the opponent scored with a 